Hey guys. Hope you guys are having a wonderful evening. And today, I actually um wanted to um, tell you that I had such a fun day um, today in Tyler, Texas. So first thing we did, first thing we did was we stopped by Brookshire's and picked up a plant and a card and then we stopped by then we stopped we stopped at the edge towards the edge of Tyler, Texas, toward of Tyler. And we actually um and we met um our neighbors. I think it was um I think it's it's actually I think it it was um it was it was the neighbor it's the neighbor it's the neighbor that has um that has the um I'm trying to think it's the dog actually is a little version the dog actually is a little version of Jean and Floyd um across the street from from my house from our from our place and so and they have two dogs named Riley and Rocky. So this little version of this this dog that is a little version of Rocky name is Max, which according to Pipsqueak, according to Pipsqueak, um she's basically referring to a leapfrog character. To a leapfrog character. Yep, that's exactly what she's referring to. That's what she says all the time. Like, you mean Max the monkey? Ah, ah. Pipsqueak is just crazy. She's just crazy. And, um, she's just, and yes. And today, um, I actually, um, Okay, so we actually saw, I think I did see a photo, it was a post on Facebook, it was a post on Facebook, and apparently I, apparently we do, Pipsqueak and I do have a theory. We have a theory about Cody Lobig. We do have a theory. We do have this theory about Cody Lobig. If you don't know who Cody Lobig is, let me show you a picture of him. Okay, let me see if I can find a picture of him. So, do you guys know um, a former Frankston ISD student, Cody Lobig? And yes, yes, yes. This is yep. This is Cody Lobig. And and do, you, and do you guys also know um, Frankston ISD's Ryan Harper? Yes. This, that is Ryan, that is, yes, yep, that is Ryan Harper. And he's this, um, so Ryan Harper is this um kid um that I went to school with and he and he um wait a minute and he threw like he th I remember um I remember um one time when I when I when he was in my fifth and eighth period class um I think it was um I think I think it was um I think it was when I was um I think I was um 17 when he did it. I was 17. 
also known as my Dancing Queen era. And um, Ryan Harper apparently happened, happens to, happened to throw a handmade, a handmade stuffed animal of mine. And it was a, um, and it was a, I think it was a stuffed number block. He threw 60, he threw number, he threw 60 from number blocks at the ceiling of the ag building. Hang on. He threw 60, he threw 60 at the ceiling of the ag building and at the dry erase board in the geometry classroom. And it was just so hilarious. It was just, why would he? Ugh. This kid is 17 years old. This kid is now 17 years old. And what the heck is he doing this at 17? And what the heck is he doing this at 17? And yeah, Ryan Harper is just insane. And if you know Cody Lobing and Ryan Harper, do you guys know Caleb Ramsey? Yep. This is the kid. This is the kid. Um, I think this is actually this is, this was actually one of the kids. This actually was one of the boys um, that I went to school with, went to school with. And there was a time where he was a cheerleader. And it was it was at a pep rally when the boys like dressed up as cheerleaders and they said things like, Go Indians! And they're like, go fight win! Like, <laughs> and I thought it was so hilarious. And to, to me they looked like some pretty homie cheerleaders. This mainly was for the this mainly was for the the playoffs. This this pep, it was the playoff. It was mainly for the playoffs. Yep, the playoffs. And if you know Cody Lobig, Ryan Harper, and Caleb Ramsey, do you guys know Benton Allen? Benton Allen, right here. So this right here is Benton Allen. So if you guys um. So, if you don't know, if you don't know who Benton Allen is, um, he um, he did um, he he did a he did a he did an improv skit um, in Miss Reed's um, I think was in Miss Reed's classroom. It was uh, yeah, it was at yeah, it was at, at Frankston. I think it was at Frankston ISD. He did it. He did it in the theater classroom in the. I think it, I think it was in the. I'm trying to think what building it was in. Um, it was in the building. It, it was in the building that had um. It was in the. It was in the building that had the auditor. That had the auditorium. That had the auditorium. Where the auditorium was located. And he. There was a time where he did an improv skit, um, in Miss Reed's um class, during during sixth hour also known as sixth period. So what, what the kid, act, what he did was, he did an improv, he, he did a, he did an improv skit, um, he did a, he, try to think what the improv skit was, he did an improv skit with two other kids, Cody Lobig and Jacob Westbrook, and they did a, and they did an improv skit, um, where they were in math class. Okay, here's my impression of Ben. 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. And they're like, one, two, three, four, five number blocks. And I thought it was, and the teacher, like, and the theater teacher couldn't start, could, couldn't stop crack, couldn't stop laughing. And, oh, yeah. Um, and there was a time actually where, and there was another clip. Um, there was another skit that they, that, that that Jacob that 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 Benton Allen that that were were um, the students like were the stu were Miss Reed's students at um, sixth hour um students. Um, 
they got into groups of four and they and, and, and they did a skit where they were in a car and they were going somewhere. And um, what happened was, um, so what they did, so so there's one group of four that actually, so one so one group, I believe, did a skit where they were going, they were going, they were going to the park. And the in in one part in one kid in one kid in the group wanted to know what was on the radio, and somebody used their iPhone as the radio, and and this is what song and this is what song they 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 were, they, they they sang they sang on the radio, they're singing with the radio. Let's see if I can find it. Gonna see if I can um, find it. I'm actually gonna tell you what song they were they sang. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can. I'm gonna see if I can find it. Okay. Okay. This is it. I don't even see this. Yep. Yes. That's what song. That that's what song they they were singing. Like that that they were singing um on the um, they were singing when they were doing a skit where they were in a car and they were going to the to the park and um yeah it was just so insane when they did that. Okay, anyways, on with Cody Lobig. So, Cody Lobig, um, he mainly was this kid, he was this kid, um, that I went to school with, that I went to school with, and so he was this, he's this, um, I appear, so there's actually a bunch of theories that I do have about the Lobig family, about the Lobig family, so I do have a theory that that Cody that Addie Lobig, um I do have a theory that Addie Lobig um is either Cody Lobig's cousin or Cody Lobig's sister. I'm not sure which one it is, but um not sure which one it is, but I do have a theory. So do you guys know um either late 2022, early 2023? Um, Ryan Harper became an uncle. Yes, he became an uncle. And we do have this theory that, for the information I saw on, a po on the post on Facebook, um, it actually said um, what it's looking like, um, I, think, I think Addie Lobig? What it's looking like, um, what it was looking like, Addie Lobig was going to become an aunt. I don't know how that could be, but I have no clue how could that be. How could that be? And I have no clue why this, I have no clue, but I don't know, but I'm pretty sure um, there's a, there actually is a good chance that Addie Lobig um, will become an aunt some at the be sometime in early at the beginning of well, the beginning of 2024 of next year. Yes, we do have that theory. So, anyways, back to Cody Lobig. Well, we're we do we think. We do think, we do have a theory that Cody Lobig is going to become an uncle. Kind of like how Ryan Harper did. So, we do have a theory about that. So, and yeah, so let me show you. Ooh, there's some little ears sticking up. Who is that? Who are you? Hmm, 
and there's like some little ears. Okay, what is it? It's little Sandy. I'm like, oh, I love you. I love you, little Sandy. Oh. You were. You were my best prom. You were my best prom date. You were my best prom date at my scene at my at my senior prom. At prom 2023. Oh. Hey sweetie. Hey sweetie. Hi. Um if you if for anyone who doesn't know who this is, this is little Sandy. Um yeah, she's um she's very cute. She's super cute. She's really cute. Um, she's got the, and she's got the, um, I think she thinks she's got the, um, the pipsqueak, the, the pipsqueak, um, was, I think has, um, they look, her eyes actually, her eyes actually look very similar. Her eyes do look very similar to, um, pipsqueak's eyes. They look very similar. And they also look very similar to Pinkie Pie from from My Little Pony from 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 My Little Pony Friendship is Magic's eyes. That's what they kind of look like to me. Pretty neat. And yeah, so so she's super cute. And I think she's um she's from I think she's from a I think she's from a number show. I think this, I think it was, it actually, I think it was actually, I think it was, it was before, uh, number blocks. Um, this one, I believe, I think it was from, I think it was, was from, I think it, I think came out in, came out in 2011, I think it came out in 2011. So that was seven years after I was born, but I was born in, but I was born in 2004. So I was, so but I was born in 2004, in fall of 2004. So, and um, she's super cute. Aww. I'm gonna show you, and she's got um, she's got a magnifying glass in her hand because she's a, I think she's the scientist. I think she's the science um, numtum. Yep, she was called Num Tums, and I think it aired from 2011 to 20. I think it aired first aired in 2011. So, so, so the show she's from is um is now um is 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 now is 12 years old, and it's like it's over a decade old. So, so yeah, it's been yanked off the air and it's been yanked off the air if you guys hate the show I respect your opinion so I'm gonna show you guys she's got a magnifying glass pretty cool and she's like is that cool yeah so I'm gonna guys gonna show you a full 360 of her and there's her there's her um tail. Super cute. Tail. Her little butterfly wings. Super cute. Yep. I do hope that um I would totally love to see a Num Tums um toy line. Um I do hope that that um that the network the net um the BBC actually um do master a toy license um for Num Tums and and they had them at and read an article that they do lead themselves to the toy designers to the toy de to the toy designers yeah so definitely Num Tums toys. Def Num Tums products definitely would be my new, probably would be my, it's probably gonna, 
probably my, my new favorite thing. My new favorite thing to, that I like to collect. I collect. To collect and mainly I would have them um, like um like um, in my room, like like in that um in that cabinet in that um cabinet in my um room that that bottom that that left that that or the, oh I hear Jax meowing hi Jax and um anyways um okay we're actually gonna show you so what I did today. So I was also gonna tell you, um little Sandy's gonna hang out right here. Gonna like there you go. Okay. So today um I went to um today I went to um Joanne Fabrics and um, I'm gonna show you what I actually bought some material. Um yes, I will be announcing um be announcing um, my first um, male, um, first boy num tum, boy num tum. Yep, that's exactly what I'm doing. Gonna now think my first boy num, boy num tum. So, okay, so all the colors that I got. So I got this uh, red here. I think um. Since since I did choose this color, um, like it's a ind like an Independence Day color, um, I was thinking about using it. I think I bought this color before. I think I did buy this um, color before, and um, I think I did buy this um, color before before and and um yeah yep this is one of the colors I'm gonna be using that's one of the colors I'm gonna get this folded up okay okay it's the red the red Let's see what other color there is what other colors I have. Okay. I have this there's like got a dark gray. Dark gray. Then we have a uh color is this got like a a light blue color okay and then we have this whoa look at this big size fabric this um okay and look at this um look at this got this um light gray pretty cool so the gender like i said for of uh, this of this new my newest num tum child is it's my first boy my first boy num tum child so yeah these are all the um colors i bought um yep and i also got something that i was thinking about um i think it was a I think it was a purchase I either made at the Broadway Square Mall in Tyler, in Tyler, Texas, or or when I went to um, New York, New York. 
and um definitely definitely keep your eyes peeled for when um for when this um for when I have for when this um for when this from when this boy this boy this boy num tums num tum child is born stay tuned for when he's born like so um so what is your guys um opinion so what's your guys opinion actually on my on my first boy boy num tum child so if you get, so what's your guys opinion is it a yay or a nay let me know it let us know in the comments and if you enjoyed this video Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you love the Num Tums. And be sure to subscribe to the Carly W channel for more funny and insane content like this. Like this one. Make sure and make sure your notifications are turned on so you never miss out on any videos like this one. And if you have any questions. Place them in the comments, and we will try our best to answer them. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Little Sandy says bye-bye.